Good morning, everyone. Our opening song is out of the Glory and Praise, which is a larger book, number 608. 608, Seek Ye First the Kingdom of God. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Alleluia, alleluia. Ask and it shall be given unto you. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. Allelu, alleluia. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, my brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. On this feast of St. John Bosco, we ask his intercession as we pray for the special intentions for Susan Merritt and Felicia de Velis. For the times we fail to love God as we should, we bow our heads and ask for his mercy, for he is full of gentleness and compassion. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at God's right hand. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who raised up the priest, St. John Bosco, as a father and teacher of the young, grant, we pray, that aflame with the same fire of love, we may seek out souls and serve you alone. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the second book of Samuel. A messenger came to David saying, the hearts of the Israelites have gone after Absalom. Then David said to all his officials who were with him at Jerusalem, get up, let us flee, or there will be no escape for us from Absalom. Hurry, or he will soon overtake us and bring disaster down upon us and attack the city with the edge of the sword. But David went up to the ascent of the Mount of Olives, weeping as he went, with his head covered and walking barefoot. And all the people who were with him covered their heads and went up, weeping as they went. When King David came to Bahurim, a man of the family of the house of Saul came out, whose name was Shimei, son of Gera. He came out cursing. He threw stones at David and at all the servants of King David, now all the people and all the warriors were on his right and on his left. Shimei shouted while he cursed, Out, out, murderous scoundrel! The Lord has avenged on all of you the blood of the house of Saul, in whose place you have reigned. And the Lord has given the kingdom into the hands of your son Absalom. See, disaster has overtaken you, for you are a man of blood. Then Abishai, son of Zeruiah, said to the king, Why should this dead dog curse my lord the king? Let me go over and take off his head. But the king said, What have I to do with you, you son of Zeruiah? If he is cursing because the Lord has said to him, Curse David, who shall then say, Why have you done so? David said to Abishai and to all his servants, My own son seeks my life. How much more now may this Benjaminite, let him alone and let him curse, for the Lord has bidden him. It may be that the Lord will look on my distress, and the Lord will repay me with good for this cursing of me today. So David and his men went on the road. The word of the Lord. Lord, rise up and save me. Lord, rise up and save me. O Lord, how many are my foes! Many are rising against me. Many are saying to me, there is no help for you in God. 
Lord, rise up and save me. But you, O Lord, are a shield around me, my glory and the one who lifts up my head. I cry aloud to the Lord, and he answers me from his holy hill. Lord, rise up and save me. I lie down and sleep. I wake again, for the Lord sustains me. I am not afraid of ten thousands of people who have set themselves against me all around. Lord, rise up and save me. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. A great prophet has appeared among us. God has visited his people. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus and the disciples came to the other side of the sea to the country of the Generosians. And when he stepped out of the boat, immediately a man out of the tombs with an unclean spirit met him. He lived among the tombs and no one could restrain him anymore, even with a chain, for he had often been restrained with shackles and chains, but the chains he wrenched apart, and the shackles he broke in pieces, and no one had the strength to subdue him. Night and day among the tombs and on the mountains, he was always howling and bruising himself with stones. When he saw Jesus from a distance, he ran and bowed down before him, and he shouted at the top of his voice, What have you to do with me, Jesus, son of the Most High God? I adjure you by God, do not torment me. For he had said to him, Come out of the man, you unclean spirit. Then Jesus asked him, What is your name? He replied, my name is Legion, for we are many. He begged him earnestly not to send them out of the country. Now there on the hillside a great herd of swine was feeding, and the unclean spirits begged him, Send us into the swine. Let us enter them. So he gave them permission, and the unclean spirits came out and entered the swine, and the herd, numbering about 2,000, rushed down the steep bank into the sea and were drowned in the water. The swine herds ran off and told it in the city and in the country. Then people came to see what it was that had happened. They came to Jesus and saw the demoniac sitting there, clothed and in his right mind, the very man who had had the legion, and they were afraid. Those who had seen what had happened to the demoniac and to the swine reported it. Then they began to beg Jesus to leave their neighborhood. As he was getting into the boat, the man who had been possessed by demons begged him that he might be with him. But Jesus refused and said to him, Go home to your friends and tell them how much the Lord has done for you and what mercy he has shown you. And he went away and began to proclaim in the Decapolis how much Jesus had done for him, and everyone was amazed. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the gospel wipe away our sin. Amen. Nothing like hearing about demon possession on Monday morning, but today I would like to focus on um, some beautiful quotes from St. John Bosco. St. John Bosco was a saint, and I'm just pulling them up here so I quote him properly. St. John Bosco was a saint that really listened to the word of God and focused on actions. His focus towards young people was that actions speak louder than words. And so I wish to use a few quotes of St. John Bosco to help us to really examine how we're living our lives. He says, Do not put off till tomorrow the good you can do today. You may not have a tomorrow. Do not put off till tomorrow the good you can do today. You may not have a tomorrow. Act today in such a way that you need not blush tomorrow. Act today in such a way that you need not blush tomorrow. 
Entrust everything to Jesus and the Blessed Sacrament and to Mary, help of Christians, and you will see what miracles are. Entrust everything to Jesus and the Blessed Sacrament and to Mary, help of Christians, and you will see what miracles are. Sound attractive yet? One of my favorite saints of the church, John Bosco, he's all about accountability and credibility. We call ourselves disciples of Jesus. Do our actions and our words back that up? Let us ask through his intercession to not only bless the young people of our parish community, but each of us, that we, like John Bosco, may heed the words of God and live it. The Lord delights in healing and saving his people. We offer to him prayers with confidence. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For all bishops, especially our own Bishop Burgi, all priests, deacons, and women religious, may God give them courage and adversity and grace as they lead the church, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for each one of us that our words, actions, and behaviors model the example and teaching of our leader, Jesus Christ, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all who experience mental illness. May God strengthen them, providing the resources they need, and bring them to better health, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and the diaconate, that more men and women like Mary will say yes to God's call of service of him and his church, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our young people, that through the intercession of St. John Bosco, they may grow in holiness and aspire to be saints, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pray for all who have died. We remember especially Sonny Wilcox, the holy souls in purgatory, and all who have died. May they be rewarded with eternal happiness with God in heaven, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the intentions we verbalize to God from the silence of our hearts, Heavenly Father, we thank you for your great love. In your wisdom, please hear and answer our prayers this day. We ask these and all things through Christ our Lord. St. John Bosco, pray for us. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mingling of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine which we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, of my iniquity. Cleanse me of my many sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May this oblation made by your consecrated people in commemoration of St. John Bosco be acceptable to you, we pray, O Lord, and grant that by participation in this mystery, we may reflect the pattern of your love through Christ our Lord. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new, and offer us sure signs of your love, and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled their great example lends us courage. Their fervent prayers sustain us in all that we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. My Jesus, mercy. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Gerard, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember your servant, Sonny, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her husband, with your blessed apostles, with St. John Bosco, St. Catherine of Alexandria, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be always with you. Turn and offer one another a sign of the Lord's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, Grant us your peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free us by this your most holy body and blood from all our sins and from all that is evil. Keep us faithful to your commandments and never let us be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, 
but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. May the blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. For those receiving Jesus in a spiritual communion, I invite you to pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. May this holy meal give us strength, Almighty God, so that by the example of St. John Bosco, we may show in our hearts and by our deeds both fraternal charity and the light of truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us turn to our Blessed Mother as we pray. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls, amen. Good Saint Joseph, ever watchful guardian of the Holy Family, protect the chosen people of Jesus Christ. Keep us free from the blight of error and corruption and be our ally in the conflict with the powers of darkness. As of old, you rescued the child Jesus from the plots of Herod. So now defend the universal church from all harm. Keep us one and all under your continual protection so that by your help and example, we may lead a holy life die a happy death, and come to possess eternal life in heaven. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go forth in the peace and love of Jesus Christ. You do not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. Alleluia, alleluia. Where two or three are gathered in my name, there am I in their midst. And whatsoever you ask, I will do. Allelu, alleluia. God bless you. Have a good day.